it's Candy. Welcome to the Art of Planning, where we love planning and where it's pretty, it's on purpose, and it's powerful. So, let me tell you, I, I don't have whatever gadget I need to remotely turn the camera on and off when I do when I do the movie for the videos. So, excuse me walking into frame and then out of frame, but that's just how we're going to have to do it for a while. Um, I think I probably told you I live remote and rural, and I don't. we don't have any place where I could go and ask them that. So I'll get that figured out later. Just bear with me. How does that sound? So we are going to do, we're going to talk about powerful planning again. I told you we would do a series on that. And this part of it, we're going to talk a little bit about tick tock. Let's smash that clock. Do you ever feel like the clock is working against you? Or should I say, do you always feel like the clock is working against you? I mean, like you can't ever get ahead of anything, like it's just go, go, go all the time. I've got to turn this sound down because I didn't do that. Um, I mean, some days it just never quits, does it? It just... You can't get ahead of it. You can't stay up with it even. I, I, I wouldn't even mind if I didn't get ahead of it, if I could just stay up with what's going on. So we're going to talk a little bit about time and time management, if you will. Um, it seems like I've heard lately that, that you can't manage time, and I'm going to have to agree with that. So, but we'll figure, we'll show you how to get it all figured out. Now, don't let the time management scare you off, okay? Because it's going to be easy for everybody to do, and it is going to be for you, whether you are an executive in a firm, whether you are an executive in your own business, whether you are the executive of your household because you're staying home with the sweet, precious family and homeschooling them. So it's important for all of us to know how to be critically attuned with and know how to critically plan our time. And that's what we're going to learn, okay? So, we're going to we're going to focus on how you can make planning your friend. It, I know it's fun. I have fun with it too, but let's get serious. We all need to be able to make it more friendly, should I say, so that it works for us. So we're going to learn how to make that happen. I want to show you this. This is this week's spread in my Erin Condren. Nothing on it is there. That's because that's what I didn't get done. When it came time for me to do this, when I usually do it, I had to make a decision. It probably takes me an hour and a half minimally to get my layout done in this. And I had to just really evaluate, do I have the time to get this done for this week? Would I like to do it? Sure. I always love to do this, but did I have the time to do it? And you can see what my answer was. I didn't have the time to get it done. Now, one of the things, one of the reasons I always do this is because it's a creative outlook for me. I get to just let my, just let my thoughts go. I do not have to it's not something serious. I have fun with it. It's, I can be creative and, and it's just fun. But I also had to really be critically attuned to what I had time to do in this space. Now, I got to, I was, I was being creative in that space anytime because, anyway, because I was doing my holiday, my Christmas things, my dividers and my pockets and my binder cover and my little page separators. I was doing all of that in my Franklin. And actually the video right before this shows you all of these and shows you some of the things that I used with them. So I was getting my creative outlet done here and I just had to ask myself, did I have time to do my Erin Condren layout or would that have stressed me out more? So I had to make a decision 
Should I or shouldn't I? Could I or would I? You know, what do I do? And I decided I, I didn't have time for that. It, was, it would not have been a good decision on my part to do that. It, it would have caused me much more anxiety <laughs> than it would have distressed me. So I got to make I got to make that decision. It's not I had to make it, it's that I got to make it. And that's probably key to all of this. We get to make decisions. Sometimes we look at that as a very negative thing, but it's not a negative. We get to make decisions about what we do. And if we'll start to look at things that way, then it will turn into a positive rather than a negative. And that's all going to tie together also. Um, I went online because I wanted to to search some sayings about time. You know that one like, if, if you don't control time, time will control you. Well, I knew there were other things like that, and I wanted to give you a couple of them that were cute. When I pulled up sayings about time, it pulled up 4,808 sayings. That's a lot of cute sayings about time. And I read through some of them. And actually, there are some that are quite good. And there are some that are real funny and real cute. But that means that there are a lot of thoughts on time, time management, how it can help you, how it's important in your life. That's a lot of sayings that someone has put the time to put together in one place. So needless to say, I didn't start writing any down. I started reading them and they were pretty amazing, but it's important. It's important. My favorite one lately is just one that I kind of coined and it's when, you know, I tell my husband all the time, I run out of day before I run out of things that need to be done during the day. I just can't get everything done. I run out of day before I run out of things to do during the day. And I would bet, for the most part, that all of you do too. That's just how our lives are these days. So, here's, here's what, here's where we're going to land. We're going to learn to be strategic with our planning. That's the key to all of it. And we can. It's going to be real simple. Learn to be strategic with your time. Learn to be strategic with planning your time, okay? And I'm going to tell you how to do that. Learn to be strategic with your time. Learn to be strategic when you plan your time, okay? And here's how you do that. You learn to evaluate what's important in your life because things spent doing one thing are time spent. Things spent doing one thing is time that you can't spend doing something else. Things spent doing one thing is time spent that you will not be able to spend doing something else. And that's fine. So, you get to make the decision. This is what I want to do, therefore, there won't be time to do this. This is what I want to do, therefore, there will not be time to do this. This is what I will do. This is what I won't do. This is what I can do, so this is what I can't do. Okay? That's being strategic in your planning. It's being strategic in your thought process. It's being strategic with your time. That's what the strategy is. And you know what? Really, if you think about it, it's no big deal, but it's a huge deal. You are the one that controls the strings. You are the one that makes the decisions because you decide what you will do and what you won't do, what you can do and what you can't do. We can't do it all. We do know that. We've come, we've come to that decision, correct? Or are you still the one trying to get it all done? Because if you are, stop. Just stop now. I don't think we will ever have anybody that can do it all. 
you can learn how to do more and there are tools to be able to put more into place but for right now the best tool that you can have the best tool that I can have is to learn that the strategy is time spent doing one thing is time not spent doing something else so if you decide to gosh I can't even think if you decide to devote extra hours at a project at work then that's probably going to take time from your family if you decide to turn down an extra project at work that might ultimately end up in a bonus then you're going to get to spend more time with your family which one of those is more important to you you just get to make the decisions sometimes they're that important most of the time they're not that important most of the time our day-to-day -day decisions our day-to-day -day planning is not that important it's just in and I mean I'm going to take me for instance I could put laundry off a long time because laundry is not critical well it becomes critical at some point but for the most part laundry is not critical so that's why I don't order a lot of stickers with laundry on it I don't like to do laundry I'm not going to do laundry I'm not, certainly not going to plan to get it done on a certain day but that's just I mean laundry is not going to I'm not going to put laundry down to do instead of doing something else so you get to choose what you're going to do and what you're not going to do so you can be strategic in doing that so when you have decided to do something you also decide not to do others you know when you volunteer for 14 committees you also volunteer to go to committee meetings and to go to to go to subcommittee meetings and all of that stuff well then you know by doing that there are other things that you have to let go of so that's fine that is totally fine you get to make that decision and then when you make that decision you then get to put the things in your book that reflect that so I mean that's the way you get your plan down you make the decisions and then you get your plan made so you just be we get to be creative and knock our socks off with the plans and then we fill in our commitments around that so nobody else has to take control of your time you get to take control of your time and that's how you plan and if I were to tell a beginner how you plan that's what I that's how I would tell them to do they get to choose what's important in your life and that's how we're gonna put it down on the planner so we get to decide how to do that and I think I think that's a real problem for a lot of people is knowing what's important knowing what is first in their lives and deciding how to do it so for everything you do there will be things that you leave undone also so get over the guilt of that because you decide what's most important and you feel good about that and then the things that you've decided to leave undone you decided to do that so that's that's good also so it's not there's a good and a bad it's that there's a good and there's a good so be strategic in your planning be critical in your planning and be honest in your planning what's important to you that's a good thing be honest in your planning what's important to you and that's what you give your time to I mean it's all good just be critical be strategic and be honest in your planning um, the thing that gets there's three words put together that gets on my last nerve and that's I'm too busy when somebody tells me I'm too busy you know what they're saying based upon we just talked about what are they saying 
they're saying, you're not important enough to me. They're saying, I don't care about what you're doing. I don't want to do what you've asked me to do. You're not important enough. I would rather somebody say, I don't want to. Um, I have a lot of other things that I need to do to take care of. I would rather them be honest and truthful with me because when, they're, when they say I'm too busy, that simply means to me they don't want to do it, but they're not honest enough to tell me that or to give me the real reason. That burns me up because I'd almost like to say, sit down right beside me, let's compare schedules. How busy are you? Crazy busy here too. That's how we all live. So that I'm too busy excuse will never ever fly with me. But don't people use that a lot? Oh my goodness, it drives me crazy. So, when I say thank you for watching, I mean it from the bottom of my heart because the time you spend here watching this are moments in your life you will never get back again. So you have made the choice to spend your time here and to not spend it somewhere else. So I, I have to have hoped that I spent enough time getting important content and information together that it will benefit you and you can get that back over and over and over. So within your planning, if you can take this and put it to use and you can get moments if you can get minutes back, that's important, but if you can get special moments back because you've been able to plan the, the right way, then that's what will be important. If you can put it together, you will multiply the benefits. Um, when I learned that, and it hadn't been too long ago, I would say five, seven years that I learned when you say yes to one thing, you say no to the other. When I learned that, it was like this switch that was flipping. It was like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that made so much sense. And things happen, things happen like that to me. It's like somebody else could have said something that really meant the very same thing, and I could have heard that same kind of information 15, 20 times before, but when it was put that way to me, just all of a sudden it was like, I got it. Oh my goodness, I got it. And that's how I evaluate everything now. Do I have, can I do that? Do I have time to do that? What will I have to say no to? Or it's, oh yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I don't care what I have to say no to. This is this is important enough. I will do it. This is where my heart is. I will do this. I will say no to that. This is what's important to me. I don't want to miss this. I will rearrange my life if necessary. So that's that evaluation I think makes things so much easier. So that's where the strategic, the critical, and the honest comes in. And it will make some decisions that are very difficult, it'll make them much easier. And it will make getting to those decisions much easier too. So, okay, so here's what I hope your takeaway is from this. Just what I said, that time spent doing one thing is time you can't spend on something else. That you make a conscious effort now when you plan and plan according to that. Um, sometimes when, when there aren't things, uh, this rarely happens, but sometimes when there aren't specific things to plug into the day, it's like, whoa, what do I do here? Now again, that rarely happens. But then as I evaluate what do I do, it's like what achievements, what needs to be done so that I can get one step closer to what I want to achieve ultimately. And then as things pop into my mind or I look at a long-term to-do list, then I can evaluate it. Okay.
walk-in number two, and I was about finished, but I just hated to leave it like that. And let me share. I, there, this is either going to be, well, I shouldn't say this, but it's either going to be totally rotten and useful, or else this is information that somebody really needs to hear, because it has been not easy at all to make. You can't imagine how many times I've shot different parts of it and I know it's getting a little bit dark and I work in a studio that has windows everywhere so there's normally light everywhere and so I'm really not set up with a whole light kit type thing and I know this last very last part of it's probably a little bit dark but so here's here's where we were we're gonna run through the end of it and then I'll splice them together which is about the only thing I know how to do in the editing department so take away Time spent doing one thing is something you can't spend on something else. That's okay because you get to make that decision. You make a conscious effort when you plan and therefore that really makes it easier to plan because you're not just putting stuff down in your planner. You are thinking about what's worth doing, what's not worth doing because most of the time you can't get it all done and you be strategic with your time and with your planning. Um, and really that's all I had to do. We were just about wrapped. I don't know, the battery just shot out on me and it was fully charged. So like I said, this is really going to benefit someone we're gonna hope or we just worked awful hard for whatever. So again, thank you for spending time with us. I hope to do more um, videos like this where we really do some talk and some sit back and chat together. So if you have anything special that you would like for me to cover, just go ahead and leave that in the comments. I would appreciate that. There are some things I know I would like to cover because I do think people look for this kind of information. I wish I had had something like this that I could draw on. I went through a lot of years of planning just to get it worked out and that's fine that is totally fine some guidance would have been great I learned a lot of things the hard way but hey that's okay I learned it so um, let me know if there's something specific that you would like to hear about or that you'd like me to share or something like that um, and again, I invite you to give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. <laughs> Goodness, I hope you liked it. And subscribe if you haven't. We're looking to grow, 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 grow. That's our goal. And um, also send some friends over if you think that they can benefit from this. And remember, I'm going to walk out of the scene also to shut the camera down so and I will get that fixed too there's got to be a way that I can turn it on and off remotely um what I thought would work I didn't get the right thing or whatever so we'll get that fixed also and in the meantime I really really appreciate you watching and it's always fun to see new subscribers see people watching I appreciate you guys thanks bye see you soon